Hi guys, um, this is just a video reply to Varg Vikanis from the channel Thulian Perspective, or Thulian Perspective. Uh, he uploaded a video a few days ago called No Pre-Warning. Um, and, he, and he's done a few videos sort of about uh, resource depletion and resource depletion-based collapse. Um, that's generally his angle, although I think some of um, his videos have also taken the, the economic and financial system as a potential cause for collapse. Um, so basically what he says in the video is that, you know, uh, you, you can't really know when the collapse is going to happen, when we're going to run out of oil or rare earth minerals or any other essential resources because it's in the interest of the companies and the establishment that, you know, run that system, uh, the, the resource extraction to not tell the general population, to keep it a secret. No, absolutely no uh, quarrels with that. I think that's pretty accurate. And I think that makes sense. Um, and, you know, the, the point that the authorities are not your friend, that's just blatantly obvious. However, and this is sort of maybe my wider point in this video reply. And I, I think I've had this, I, I've watched a fair few of Thulean Perspective videos and I've always had this sort of criticism in the back of my mind. Um, Varg sort of, I, I would almost say hope or his um, solution to many of the sociological problems in Europe and, and also North America, et cetera, is, is this collapse? I mean, he, he believes the collapse is going to happen sooner or later and that it will solve many of the sociological problems. And I think this is dangerous. Um, I don't believe the collapse is going to happen that soon. And I also don't believe we're going to run out of oil. Um, why do I say this? Uh, there's, there's lots of peak oil guys on the internet. I mean, it's all over the internet and there's a lot of information about it. But um, if you really look into who first developed the theory, I believe he was a, a Shell guy or a guy working for Shell, a guy working for Texaco. Now, that should ring some alarm bells. Why would someone in the oil industry be alarmist about oil depletion if what Varg just said is true, that they wouldn't tell us? My current view on oil resource depletion is that um, I think we have hundreds of years of oil left. I don't think there's um, any concern about oil running out in the next three or five years or 10 years or 12 years or 20 years. So if you think about what Europe's gonna look like with 20 more years economic growth in quotation marks, with 20 more years current system, well, waiting for the collapse isn't gonna solve that, is it? Um, there is basically gonna be nothing to save anymore in 20 years. But, you know, don't take my word for this. Um, let's have a look at what Wikipedia has to say. Now, I'm aware the data on Wikipedia is often wrong. It's often edited by the government by all sorts of random sources but the information is so diametrically opposed to the peak oil narrative that I, I thought I'd share it with you guys so if you go to the um, Wikipedia page of a uh, summary of proven reserve data for oil reserves per country we have in uh, first position Venezuela and their reserve in production years, current production years. So take what they're producing at the moment and take everything they have in terms of oil. 
uh, and figure out how many years they can still produce at that current rate. Their reserve is 387 years, according to Wikipedia. Then number two, Saudi Arabia. Same calculation, how many years of current production do they still have left? Saudi Arabia, 81 years. Canada, 178 years. Iran, 101 years. Iraq, 163 years. Kuwait, 121 years. United Arab Emirates, 156 years. Well, if we wait 156 years, <laughs> well, what's going to be left? So, look, I really respect Vagvikinas, and um, I, I watch his channel, and I think he has very many good things to say, but I have to disagree with the collapse is going to save us narrative. And I think it encourages complacency. Um, it encourages self-impoverishment. So that you know the Chinese can take over and uh, someone else can run all the businesses and write all the laws and lobby everything. That, that's not how you run a society or how you stay in control. No, you learn law, you become a lawyer, you become a politician, you become a banker, and you beat all these other people. You, you, you become smarter than them. You stay in charge. So um, my apologies if I'm a bit uh, sort of... Um, forceful about this but I I, I hope, really hope that Varg watches this or listens to this and maybe thinks about it uh, because he, he has quite a following and uh, maybe I, I, I think it's good to you know have pesticide free food uh, free food and I think it's good to live a natural life and I think it's good to be close to nature and um, it, the, all those things are great but one also has to think about things free of illusion. Now, all these um, year ratios or these production reserve figures, are they all totally faked? And it's actually three years for all of those countries? So, I don't know, you know. Uh, Russia, by the way, um, claims they only have 22 years of production. Okay, um, let's say that everyone else is lying and only Russia is, um, you know, honest. That's still 22 years. I mean, 2040, basically. We can't just wait until then. So... While I agree with his videos about Le Pen and uh, you know some of these uh, movements, Le Pen isn't everyone. You know, not everyone is like Le Pen, and not everyone there. There is a way to, you know, organize and um, try to fight for what one believes in and what one wants to achieve in one's country. Um, yeah, so that's all I have to say. Um, thanks, guys. Thanks for listening.